I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to factor trinomials when the coefficients are greater than 1. That means the leading coefficient is greater than 1. So what I mean to say is normally we write quadratic equation as ax square plus bx plus c. So we are saying where a is greater than 1. That is what we are saying. It is not 1 most of the cases. Correct. So we already have few videos where a is equal to 1. That's a simpler case. Let's see what to do when a is greater than 1. Well, the strategy is kind of same. The strategy is when you're given a trinomial, we have two of them here. So let's see how to solve them. The first one is 3x squared plus 10x minus 8. The other one is 15x squared minus 5x plus 10. You can always pause the video, answer, and then check your solution. Let's begin by finding product and sum. So we are looking for two numbers p and q whose product should be 3 times minus 8 which is minus 24. And when you add them then what are we looking for? We are looking for plus 10. Okay. So the two numbers which could do this magic for us are 12 times 2. 12 times 2 one of them has to be negative the other one positive. Positive number is bigger. So 12 times minus 2 works for us, correct? Now what we do here is basically we split this 10 and write this as 12x minus 2x. Rest all remains the same. So let's continue. So rest all is 3x square here and minus 8 we have the same trinomial. Now the next step is we will club two two terms, right? The first two terms and the last two terms okay and factor so what is common between these two terms 3 times x so let's factor 3x we are left with x here and 12 divided by 3 is 4 x is already taken out so we get 4 here what is common in this case minus 2 let's take minus 2 common we'll get x plus 4 somehow if you don't get these numbers same, then it means something wrong has happened. Go back and check your numbers, right? Okay. Or if you have taken this minus, you didn't reverse the sign. So those are the two mistakes you could do. Let's continue. X plus 4 is a common factor. We'll take X plus 1, 4. We're left with 3X from this side, minus 2 from there. And that completes our job of factoring. Okay. So it's done. So that is the factored form of the given trinomial where the leading coefficient is not 1 but it is 3 in this case. Now let's see how to solve the next one. Now purposely I have taken the next one which is slightly different. We'll do it in two steps kind of. 15x squared minus 5x plus 10. There is a common factor in the group itself which is 5. So first step is if there is 1, find that common factor and factor it out. 5 is common. So we are left with 3x squared minus x. 10 divided by 5 is plus 2. That's what we get. Now, we'll again follow the same strategy. We are looking for product of two numbers as 3 times 2, which is plus 6. And their sum should be equal to minus 1. So, minus 1. Can we do it? Now, 6 is possible with uh, 3 times 2. Now, when you multiply and get the same sign, that really means that both are same sign, right? So, if I write two numbers with the same sign, then I cannot get minus 1. So, this cannot be factored any further, right? So, that is what you could do. So, that's your ultimate answer, right? So, now this time, I'll just write this factored form as 5 times 3x squared minus x plus 2 as my answer. But I think there was a typing error. So I'll redo this question with a different trinomial. And now we are working on a different trinomial, which is 15x squared minus 5x minus 10. Okay. See how much difference this makes. So we are done with this. Let's do this one now. The first step is common, which is we'll factor out 5. So we get 3x squared minus x, and here we get minus 2. 
Now, we are looking for product and sum. In this case, the product should be 3 times minus 2, which is minus 6. And sum should be P plus Q should be equal to minus 1. So, we have two numbers now, which when multiplied will give us negative 6. One has to be positive, one has to be negative. Negative number is bigger. So, we have minus 3 and 2 as the magic numbers. So, we'll split this and write this as minus 3x plus 2x. That gives us minus x, correct? And rest things we'll copy as such. So, we have 3x squared here, minus 2. And let's continue with factoring. So, as we did here, we'll combine these two terms. 3x is common. So, we'll write 3x. We are left with x minus 1. Here, plus 2 is common. We get x minus 1. Is it okay? Now, x minus 1 is common. So, we can write this as 5 times x minus 1 is common. 3x plus 2 remains. So, that is how we can factor this one. I hope you understand and appreciate it. So, that is how we have to factor. So, whenever the coefficient is greater than 1, it is important to split the x term into 2. So, we get 4 terms and then you can club and factor as we did in this video. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.